All right, there we go. It's a little bigger than the last one, huh? Watson. Today we're looking for tarantula hawks and we've already seen some in the area so let's go get some. Let's discover wilderness. Here are some tarantula holes and this is a tarantula hawk. The tarantula hawk is running along the dirt in search of tarantulas. Much like me in the tarantula video. But unlike me, this one is looking to find one for a different reason. Adult females, when ready to lay their eggs, will go in search of a suitable host tarantula and will lay its eggs directly inside the tarantula. The young will then feed on the tarantula until they are ready to fly. After two to three weeks, they become herbivores and eat the nectar of flowers and fruit. Take a look at those legs. At the joints there are good sized barbs which they can use to cling to plants during windy times and to cling to tarantulas during implantation. It's amazing how much mobility its antenna have. They can extend them, curl them, and move them up and down. This one looks like it has a damaged wing. Wow, what a catch. All right, it's time to let this one go. Sometimes when an animal is captured, they feel safer in the jar. Well, while it's here, let's take a look at its abdomen. In this light, you can't see that it's blue, but you can see that it's billed as much like other wasps. Looks like it doesn't think my hand looks too safe. Some birds, such as roadrunners, will eat these wasps, but other than that, there aren't too many predators. We got this one out of the jar finally. Their feet are a little bit more pokey than the giant wood wasp. There it goes. We're back on the hunt and I just spotted one going into tall vegetation. Unlike the giant wood wasp, the tarantula hawks are much more agile and fast. All right, finally back out in the open. Got 
one. Oh man. Oh. <laughs> He's buzzing. Oh, it's still hung on to the net. There you go. Okay. Oh. This one's this one's a little larger than the last one. <laughs> All right, it's buzzing pretty good. Just gotta let go of the top. Got it. All right, there we go. It's a little bigger than the last one, huh? This is officially the largest wasp that I have ever caught and it fills the jar quite nicely. Unfortunately, the sun has not been out, so let's shine some light on it to see its amazing color. As you can see, when in the right light, this almost jet black wasp turns a beautiful blue. These tarantula hawks are most commonly found in the southwest. But other varieties can be found in every continent except for Europe and Antarctica. Its wings remind me of a butterfly. Look how big this wasp is. I think that if its legs were fully stretched out, it would be longer than my pointer finger. She has calmed down quite a bit. Oops, looks like it's trying to get out. They run quickly on the ground and have good maneuverability in the air. It's no wonder that these things intimidate so many people. The sting of this insect is said to be very intense. One of the most painful stings of all insects. I guess she's starting to get restless. Time to let her go. And we're off. Well, we had a successful day of catching tarantula hawks. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.